right, Breakers vs. McCaskill 2. I haven't talked about it, been holding off, but um, we about to do that right now. Before I get into the video, I wanna say this. I almost didn't cover this card because of the strike on my account. If it truly, really was put by the zone, I, I almost don't wanna cover the zone fights. And I'm contemplating canceling my subscription. However, with that being said, I feel like it would be unfair to the fighters to not give them any publicity, even though I have my issues right now with the zone. So with that being said, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel because it is what helps me out the most. And when you subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up because it helps me out with the algorithm and hit the notification bell that way you can get updated when I drop the newest content like this. Now, let's get into the video. All right, so this is how I see this fight. McCaskill is really not that skilled. She's really not technically skilled, but that's not a bad thing. I'm not trying to throw any salt on her. What she does is works. It works very well. And excuse my talking. Like I just woke up, it's like 4 a.m. in the morning. But um, what she does really does work, especially against an older fighter. What she does is a nightmare for an old fighter. And that is maul you. See, Older fighters tend to do better against more technical type boxers like they are if they're technical because it gives them time to think. It gives them time to recover. It gives them time to not be beat up on 100% of the fight. And the thing with Breakus is she's older now. So what McCaskill did to her in the first fight was never gave her a moment to breathe. She was on her, she was mauling her, wasn't the prettiest but it's very effective, very effective. Like I said, especially against older fighters. Now, can Breakers make adjustments and do better? Yes. Will she be able to? I do not know because like I said, McCaskill, now McCaskill's older herself, don't get me wrong, but still her, her attack, her, her means of fighting it's going to be very challenging for Breakers. What I can see Breakers doing is she's got a jab. She's got a jab and she's got a back step a lot. And she's got to try to catch McCaskill coming in with a straight right. A lead straight right at that. So she's got a jab, jab, step back, bait McCaskill into coming in. Really, she doesn't have to bait her because she's going to come full steam ahead and catch her with some straight rights just straight down the pipe without throwing the jab first. Just some lead straight rights. And again, backstepping and jabbing and that lead straight right is gonna be her key to victory. McCaskill, what she needs to do is not attack so much on the straight line. Take a side step or two when you're coming in to defend against that jab, to defend against that lead straight right and just do what you did the first time. And you should win. Um, McCasco, really truthfully, outside of just changing up her angles of attack when she comes in, she really doesn't need to change anything to beat Breakers. It's Breakers that needs to make all the improvements. Now, Breakers has been an amazing fighter. Amazing fighter. Almost broke the title defense record, but, you know, that curse seems to always creep up on fighters when they get there to it. Always seems to creep up. So, again... This fight for me is, is all on what Breakers can do to make adjustments. Because I don't really think McCaskill is going to come in too differently. I don't think she needs to. Other than the minor adjustments that I said. Because again, I will restate where I began. Her style is a nightmare for an older fighter. A complete nightmare. She will not give Breakers time to breathe and she will stay on top of her. And again, this is another fight, another year, and Breakers only getting older. And we've already seen little signs of slippage in Breakers. Obviously she lost, but before that she wasn't looking as good as she had in the past. And you know, aging's a motherfucker. You never know when it's gonna come, but when it comes, there's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately. And I just, I don't know 
what she has. And I don't know who was training her. I should have looked this up before I made the video. But I believe Abel Sanchez tra trained her in the last fight, and that was a mistake. Like, I, I really don't believe Abel, and, and I don't mean to say this in a negative way towards him because I only wish him the best, and I hope he gets as many fighters as he can get. But I don't think Abel is a very good trainer for her style of fighting. I, I don't think Breakers should have been going to him. And I don't think he should train her. And hopefully he hasn't been training her for this particular fight that's upcoming. But uh, again, all I can say is what I've already said. I mean, this was pretty cut and dry. Cask out, stay on top of her, switch up your angles, don't give her time to breathe, let them old lungs, never have time to regenerate, and really test them. And for breakers, you got a jab. You got a back step and you got to catch it with the lead right coming in <laughs> my phone just fell y'all <laughs> oh that's too funny and then the windshield wipers came on in the car but we don't edit it even early in the morning when we're tired um but yeah so as i was saying she has got to hit her with the lead right to hurt mccaskill to make mccaskill think twice about mauling her now, we know Breakers has got pop. We know she's got clean, technical, crisp punches. So she can't hurt fighters. She can't. But will she be able to hurt McCaskill enough to deter her from coming forward? That's yet to be seen because I can tell y'all this. If McCaskill fights the fight that she fought in the first fight and can maul her, I just I don't see how Breakers wins. I really don't. I only see McCaskill being better and breakers fading faster and that's taking nothing away from breakers because she was an amazing champion up there with some of the best women to ever box scratch that up there with some of the best boxers to ever box um and you know mccaskill this just might be her time you know again that mauling style it, it works it's worked for many of fighters you don't at the end of the day, a win is a win, and how you win is all that matters that you win. She said, and it doesn't matter how you win, as long as you win in the end. Again, tired y'all. Um, but yeah, I think this fight is gonna be dynamite. I think there's gonna be a lot of punches thrown like the first one. And I know Break is retired. She was happy. She passed the torch. I was happy to see that, but I guess the competitor spirit inside of Breakers said, nah, I can't stay retired. I got to come back. I got to beat her because I believe I can beat her. And we're going to see if she can beat her. You know, again, I, 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 I believe Breakers has the ability to beat McCaskill, but I just don't know if she'll have, I don't want to say the will. I just don't know if she's going to have the energy to do it at this point in stage of her career when McCaskill is just she's just starting to hit her stride she was late in it so she's still young in it even though she started late still very young in this doesn't have a lot of fights doesn't have a lot of wear and tear <laughs> and I'm telling you like I just keep coming back to that mall style like it's that pressure that can constant consistent pressure of punches hitting you and being in your face and just never giving you a moment that again is just a nightmare for older fighters and, and I think that's what it's just going to be um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section again I'm not really making a prediction on this fight I don't know how breakers is gonna look I don't know if she's gonna be able to adjust if she can't adjust in the ways that I said that she needs to adjust, she very well could win this. But here's the real question, guys. If Breakers beats McCaskill, doesn't McCaskill deserve a trilogy? I'm just saying. McCaskill beat her. Breakers comes back and beats her. Is Breakers going to stay boxing? Or is she going to retire again? And if she does stay boxing, is she going to move on to somebody else or give McCaskill the trilogy that she deserves? Because even if Breakers, let, let's just say hypothetically, and then we'll end the video here pretty soon. 
let's say hypothetically Breakers comes out here and just puts on a, a technical boxing perfect picture showing right and just out of class is McCaskill well I still believe McCaskill deserves another shot a trilogy match because she stopped a fighter that hadn't been stopped in so long and she definitely deserves another shot and they'll be on breakers to see what she does after this win or lose if she loses i really think she's going to stick with the retirement if she wins i think it would be a shame in women's boxing not to get a trilogy from mccaskill because mccaskill's future is bright it's very bright her style very hard to deal with <laughs> So let me know what y'all think in the comment section again. Thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And don't be scared to comment because I will respond to you. <laughs>